Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Commerce with Namita. I am Namita Mane. In today's session, let us see some examples of frequency distribution. Already in my last lecture, I have explained you all the concepts related to frequency distribution like what is frequency, what is frequency distribution table, types of frequency distribution and important terms related to frequency distribution like class limit, class frequency, what is cumulative frequency and so on. So you will find the link of my last lecture in the description box. So please watch that uh, video then you will understand the lecture uh, today's lecture. Okay, so without wasting time we will see the examples of frequency distribution. So the first question is the frequency distribution. Okay, this is the table. Okay, the frequency which is uh, given in this table is called as frequency distribution. So the frequency distribution of marks obtained by 100 student in FYBCOM is given below. So this is the frequency distribution uh, of 100 students of marks which uh, 100 student has obtained in FYBCOM. So marks 0 to 9, 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49 and number of students. So this is frequency 10 to 0 to 9 the frequency is 10, 0, uh, 10 to 19 frequency is 24, 20 to 29 frequency is 30, 30 to 39 frequency is 20, 40 to 49 frequency is 16. So now observe the table, observe the frequency distribution and answer the following questions. Now we will see the question number 1. State the type of frequency, uh, state the type of classification. So the first question is state the type of classification. Now observe this class interval 0 to 9, 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49. So this is class interval and we need to state the which type of classification is there. Now there are two types of classification. One is inclusive method and second is exclusive method. So now if you have seen uh, the last lecture, in that last lecture I have explained you the uh, types of classification. So you will find the link in the description box. So, so the answer is inclusive classification. Okay. So the this frequency distribution is, is the type of inclusive classification because the upper limit okay because inclusive classification means the upper limit of a class is included in the same class itself it is not included in the next class okay so you can see 0 to 9 immediately after 9 there is 10 is it included is the 9 included in the second class no it is not included it is included in the first class only so that's why it is inclusive classification okay so in short you can say that when the classes are not continuous means after 9 there is immediately 10 then after 19 there is 20 so then it is it means inclusive classification okay next question find the class mark of the third class so this is first second third fourth and fifth okay so we need to find a class mark now what is class mark class mark is nothing but the mid value mid point of the class so we they have said to find the class mark of third class so this is the third class okay so the class limit is 20 and 29 so 20 is lower limit and 29 is upper limit now to find the class mark formula is what upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2 okay but this classes are not continuous so we need to make the we need to make the classes continuous that means we need to find the class boundary of the third class now see 20 to 29 is there 
okay now we need to find the class boundary now how to find the class boundary first find the class boundary and then find the class mark okay then find the class mark by using the formula upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2 so the first find a class boundary now in my earlier lecture i have said how to find the i have explained you how to find a class bo class boundary so in short i will tell to find a class boundary just uh, reduce 0.5 from the upper limit uh, from the lower limit and add 0.5 to the upper limit so 20 is lower limit and 29 is upper limit so i will reduce 0.5 from 20 that is up uh, lower limit and i will add 0.5 in upper limit so these are class boundary 19.5 29.5 is the class boundary now so now upper limit is what 29.5 plus 19.5 divided by 2 okay divided by 2 now add this and divide by 2 so we get the answer 24. Point So the answer is 24.5 okay so the class mark of the third class is 24.5 okay so whenever if the classes are not continuous you need to find a class boundary and then find the class mark okay by applying the formula next question state the class boundaries of the fifth class so fifth class is which 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is fifth class. Okay, 40 to 49 is the fifth class. So what will be the class boundary of fifth class? This is 40 to 49 is the fifth class. okay so 40 to 49 is the fifth class so we need to find the class boundary so class boundary of fifth class will be 39.5 and 49.5 okay we'll see the correct answer so the correct answer is 39.5 to 49.5 reduce 0.5 from lower limit okay and add 0.5 in the upper limit clear upper limit this is l upper limit next question find the class width of the second class so second class is this what is class limit class limit is nothing but the actual length of the class or actual uh, or difference between upper limit and lower limit okay so second class is 10 and 19 first find the class boundaries class boundary will be 9.5 and add 0.5 in the upper limit now minus 19 point now to find class limit uh, class uh, width is the upper limit minus lower limit So answer you get 10. 10 is the class width of the second class. Okay. If the classes are not continuous. Okay. In that case first always find the class boundaries. And then minus to find class width the formula is upper limit minus lower limit. Okay. Next. Find the number of students getting less than 30. Okay. So we need to find the number of student who is getting less than. Now this word less than means what? We need to find cumulative frequency. Okay. So now in the last lecture I have said that if you want to find cumulative frequency you need to go from 
up to down okay add the number from up to down and if it is more than cumulative frequency from down to up you need to add the frequency okay so find the number of students getting the marks less than 30 so where is the end of the 30 this is the end of the 30 because 0 to 30 is here in between this so now we will add 10 plus 24 plus 30 at 10 plus 24 plus 30 we get 64 okay so 64 is the answer that means 64 students are getting marks less than 30 okay next question Next question is, find the frequency distribution of age of 50 citizen is given. Sorry, the frequency distribution of age of 50 citizen is given below. So, this is the frequency distribution of 50 citizen and the distribution is, is about age. Okay. And the frequency is there. So, age is below 30, 31 to 40, 41 to 50. 51 to 60, 61 to 70 and above 71. Okay. And observe the table and answer the following questions. So, first question is state the type of classification. Now, if you observe the classification 31 to 40, 41 to 50. So, obviously this type of classification is inclusive classification. Okay. It is inclusive classification next question identify open end classes and state them now what is open end classes open end classes means the class which has which have uh, which does not have one limit okay the limit of one class is not specified like with limit means either it is a uh, lower limit or it is a upper limit so, if it is not identified, if in the class upper limit is identified, lower limit is not identified. If in the class lower limit is identified and upper limit is not identified, then it is called as open end classes. So, observe this table. Okay. So, now below 30, that means up, lower limit is given, upper limit is not given. Means below 30, below 30 means how many 0 to 30 or what they did not mention then 31 to 40 now here both the limits are given 31 is what lower limit up 40 is what upper limit okay so both the limits they have given both the two ends they have given okay next 41 to 50 is given 51 to 60 61 to 70 and now in the last is above 70 above 70 there is no limit mentioned above 70 will be any numbers so, the open end classes are below 30 and above 71. Next question, find the missing frequency. Okay, now find the missing frequency. In which class there is no frequency? First class is having 3 as the frequency. Second class is having 7 as the frequency. Third class is having no frequency. So, we need to find the frequency of the third class. How much will be the frequency? Fifth, fourth class is having 16 as the frequency. Next, uh, fifth class is having 8 as the frequency. And last class is having 2 as the frequency. And the ages is what? 50 citizen. Okay, frequency. The frequency distribution of ages of what? 15 citizen. Now, how to find the missing frequency? Okay. Now, all their classes are having frequency, only the third class is not having the frequency. Now, to find the frequency, how you are going to find? Add 3 plus 7, then add all this frequency first. Okay, so 3 plus 7 plus 16 plus 8 plus 2, so total you get 63 clear and what is the age of all the citizen that the the frequency distribution of age of 50 citizen how many citizens are there 50 citizen 
सो माइनस फिफ्टी बाय थर्टी सिक्स यू गेट द आंसर फोर्टीन एज द फ्रीक्वेंसी सो फोर्टीन इज द मिसिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी य so the frequency of the third class is 14 how i have got 14 i hope you have understood you have to add three the you have to add the remaining frequency and minus it with the total number of citizen okay so that is 50 minus 36 you get the answer 14 next question find the class mark of the fifth class so fifth class is this 1 2 3 4 5 okay 61 to 70 61 to 70 oh, now this is inclusive type of uh, classification so we need to make the uh, uh, classes continuous like we need to find the class boundary first and then use the formula of class mark and find the class mark okay so 60 Point five, seventy point five. Okay, so this is the class boundary. So add seventy Plus sixty point five divided by two. So the answer you get sixty five point five is the class mark of fifth class. Clear? Next question: Find the class boundary of the fourth class. So this is the fourth class. Class boundary will be this is fifty to sixty. Now to find the class boundary, reduce point five from the lower limit and add point five in the upper limit. So fifty point five, sixty point five. Okay. So the, see the correct answer is fifty point five to sixty point five. So in this way, you need to solve, observe the table, and find the. answers to the question and this question is asked for 5 marks in university examination okay so one for each there will be five question 1 2 3 4 5 so total five marks for this question okay so i hope you have understood all the examples of frequency distribution thank you very much please subscribe my youtube channel like and share the video and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the latest notification